Sarah6683 and I have been streaming on Twitch for exactly three years now. I stream piano performance on Twitch. It is chat driven content so people can request songs. I play songs I already know and I also play live learns which is where I essentially learn a piece of music that is new to me live on stream for the requester in as little time as possible so that the people watching me don't get completely bored. I play a lot of video game music. I also play a lot of uh, TV and movie themes, some anime. I will play in whatever style is requested. So if someone wants a country song or an EDM song, that is exactly what I will do. I've been playing piano since I was five or six years old. Um, it wasn't the case of me as a five-year-old being inspired to start music. It was, uh, I believe it was my grade one school teacher who said to my parents, uh, she might have something here, why don't you enroll, enroll her in music lessons? So that's where it all started. I can't take credit for actively wanting to learn piano specifically. As Bob Ross would say, it was a happy little accident. I was having dinner one Sunday night February 2017 in a chicken shop. Apparently, Americans, you guys don't have chicken shops. It's basically just a shop uh, that sells chicken, hot chips, salads, that kind of thing. So we're having dinner and my friend Pyromaniac1010 uh, suggested that I start streaming music on Twitch. And I did already have a Twitch account. I used it very rarely and definitely only to view other musicians. And I don't know what it was about his suggestion. I was up and running in two weeks, absolutely potato set up. I had a webcam that I hadn't tweaked the settings of at all. I had no lighting. Um, it was very, very basic, but I think the important thing was I got started and the rest is history. I have two bits of advice for people coming to Twitch I guess in the midst of this lockdown. The first one would be discoverability can be rough. If you don't already have a pre-existing community on another platform, it can be really tough to start from zero on Twitch. So I guess don't expect too much too soon. And then the second piece of advice would be, look, you've probably heard this all before, but Twitch is very, very different to YouTube. YouTube. It's evergreen. You can upload something once a week, once a month, and it stays there and it generates new subscribers. Whereas Twitch, you really have to show up day after day, week after week. You have to show up consistently, put the time in and really hold its hand because you are not gonna grow your community if you are not there. And I see quite a few streamers they're going great. They've been streaming for weeks, maybe months, and then it kind of starts to peter out because it is, it's quite a time investment and you have to just keep on coming back. Of course, you can take breaks, um, but it really is day after day, week after week to grow. It depends what your streaming goals are, but that is my advice. Oh, my favorite piece of video game music. I'm going to answer this instead with my favourite video game soundtrack. It would have to be something from the 90s, Super Nintendo. I think that's the golden era of video game music. I think music then was just, it was so unique and so effective because composers had, they had limitations, but they also had freedom. And I think it was a really good balance of the two. So my favourite, my favourite soundtrack, I'm going to go with Secret of Mana by Hiroki Kikuta and why basically because i think it was just such a unique sound um, the soundtrack really uses texture i think in a very novel way it's, it's tough to pick just one but that would be my number one top soundtrack okay i have two answers here the people who inspire me are generally the ones who are using the platform twitch in a different way the first person i'm going to throw out there is someone who I'm sure you all know, Kit Boga. He, you guys know what he does. He trolls scammers. And I think using Twitch in order to do that is just fantastic use of the platform. Um, another streamer that I really admire is Cardboard Cowboy. He's an Australian gaming streamer, but what he does that I think is so different 
He uses Twitch as a vehicle for storytelling, but I'm not just talking about a story within one stream. I'm talking a story arc over multiple streams, multiple seasons. He has seasons. Um, I think the way he is telling a story over years and months um, is really novel, and I'm not sure how many others are actually doing what he does. Also, his animations, he makes them all himself, are insane. His OBS must be going absolutely crazy. Check him out. I think he does really cool different stuff. So my goal for this year, it might be a little different to previous years. In previous years, well, what, what does anyone want when they start? They want to make affiliate, they want to make partner, they want to grow. You know, you just want to get your stuff out everywhere. You want to put it on YouTube, get it on Reddit. You want to do talent shows, you want promotion, you want front page, you want to grow indiscriminately. Just reel them in, right? This year, 2020, I'm all about the top 1%. And I think that every single streamer has got that top 1% in their community. These are the people who show up for you in a multitude of ways. They are your regulars. They're the folks on Discord who are always chatting either to you or amongst themselves. Um, they are usually the people who subscribe and financially back your channel. They are the entire reason that I'm still able to do this and a lot of streamers are still able to stream um, either full time or in whatever capacity they're aiming for. So my goal this year is going to be to cater to that 1%. That's not to say that we are not an unfriendly community. If you pop into my chat and you say something at all positive, you're going to be gifted a sub against your will. Very, very welcoming, but this year it's really about quality over quantity. It's about prioritizing, I guess, uh, the entertainment of my regulars as opposed to the entertainment of drop-ins. So in previous years, you know, I would have just played Ocean Man and Pirates of the Caribbean and Two Zanakand and Tokyo Ghoul and Play Game of Thrones and all those same bangers, they keep getting requested. And it's not even the problem of me getting bored of them, which I am. It's more that I want to retain my regulars. So I want my content to be interesting for them as well, which is why I learn new pieces of music every single stream, just to keep it interesting. So that's my goal for this year. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am Lara6683. You can find me under that exact name on Twitch, also on YouTube. I hope to see you in a stream soon.